Right, so I've cut out this bauble shape. Um, I'm going to be doing raised gesso work on this one. First I do need a gesso base, so I'm going to start layering it up. So the gesso has been sanded really nice and smooth. I've got this plastic stencil. There are many ways to do raised gesso. You can use a sort of a piping bag and flood it. You can tool it on, you can shape it, you can sand it, or you can use something like a template. So I'm just going to find where is nice. I'm just going to mask off the places I don't want. That hopefully might help it not move too much. So I've masked off the little bits that I don't want. I might come in again and fill those bits in. I'm going to be using gesso putty which is just a really thick gesso. So I'm just going to smooth this over and hopefully it'll fill those little holes but not go underneath them. Right, let's get this off before it sets. Let's see if this is going to work. So that's not gone too badly. The edges are a bit rough and I'm just going to smooth off these top edges. Right, get all the dust off. I'm going to come in with some yellow bowl. My burnisher and I'm just going to come in and burnish all these high points. 